Hi, David Wigginer here, all the way from Christchurch, New Zealand. The weather is beautiful today. Uh, it's the 22nd of Feb, um, 22nd, see I'm saying February, of August 2017. Now, six and a half years ago, um, to this day, at about an hour ago, yes, 10 to 2, it is now, 10 to 1, we had the big devastating earthquake. So, I just I'm a stickler for um, dates and all that sort of thing so I just like to recognize that um, there were over a hundred people that perished in that earthquake on that day at this time um, six and a half years ago so I just want to um, acknowledge that okay Now I want to show you a game that I played yesterday on the 21st of August. I know it's a lightning game and of course I know it's only a lightning game but um, Bobby Fisher had something to say about lightning, how he thought it was very important or you know whatever, the measure of a good player, whatever you want to say. And that doesn't mean I'm not talking about myself there but anyway so here is this lightning game. Now if I was to write my memorable um, games also this would probably be amongst it. So if I had a hundred memorable games this would probably have to be a contender um, but I want you to be the judge of that. Just have a look at David Wiegner's play here as white against a reasonably okay opponent. Okay. I'm not going to talk in it, okay? I'm just going to show you the game and let you be the judge. I will say one thing, I'm threatening Queen takes pawn here, check, if I want to play it, because the pawn can't take back, okay, so it's a wee problem there.
and my opponent resigned and because once the king moves or say it moves back here then I just take this and I drive the rook away from the defense of the apron by force or I just win another pawn if the king goes up here instead if the king goes here then I just win another pawn here with rook g7 and the rook can move of course check king can come here no can go here yes but can't go here there's a rook check and rook takes rook. that's the end of my lesson so that's how I um, here my opponent resigned after rook g4 because all resistance is rather futile really so if king here very very bad mistake because then I end up just taking the pawn with the rook check and king moves and rook takes rook and if here and rook here and as you would appreciate um, if the king is silly enough to move here well that's okay we can do that we can also do this and repeat the position but we just take this and the king has to move here this is what's called an absolute seventh rank there's no pawns or so that can get in the way of the exit square for the king on the on its first rank but on white's eighth rank so the king the rook could live here forever and ever if they wanted to drag the chain they could make this game go a lot longer if white isn't met with resignation from black or stalemate so anyway that's that game now I want you to just um, think or consider whether or not you thought it was a pretty good game or not